Dear Officer Kevin, our lives changed forever that day. You were there. Our family calls you our angel. I can't imagine the heartbreak and tragedy you see on a regular basis. I'm sure that day was just another day at the office for you. I came home from work and found my husband had just taken his own life. I was seven weeks pregnant. I don't remember a lot about that day. Strangely, I remember you holding my hair back as I threw up. You weren't just there doing your job, but I believe you genuinely cared about me. Thank you for your service and dedication. You have a tremendously difficult job and you excel at it. Please accept my deepest gratitude and know that you matter. This letter was written 18 months after that incident occurred. Um, so you think about a letter that's written that long after an incident, the tremendous impact it must have had in that family's life. And we have a policy manual that's uh, close to a thousand pages long. And nowhere in that policy manual does it say, if you respond to, a, to an incident like that, to care for a person in that way, because that comes from in here. It comes from who you are as an individual and as a human being, and it's providing care and compassion. And that's why it's such a strong message for our staff, is that how, that's how we should try to, to act every single day we come to work and, and to support people in that way. And today we're blessed to have the woman that wrote that letter here today. She wanted to be here and uh, just acknowledge Officer Cornell. And uh, so Krista, if you'd like to say a few words. I'm going to try and get through this. <laughs> For me, May 15, 2013 will be a day that is forever ingrained on my brain. For Officer Kevin, it was another Wednesday on the job. I've only met Officer Cornell briefly one time since that day. What I understand, though, is that how he conducted himself on that day in May was typical of the kind, compassionate, and duty-filled service that he so generously gave to our community for 29 years and 10 months. I was going to say 30 years. <laughs> when I told my mom that I would be speaking today, she asked, do you have the picture? And I responded with, what picture? She said, the one of him kneeling in front of you and taking such good care of you. I said, Mom, I didn't know such a picture existed. I've never seen it. She stated, maybe it is so etched in my brain. I just thought it was a photo. They say that people come into your life for a reason, season, or a lifetime. I thank the Lord that Officer Kevin was one of those people who was there for a reason. He was there to care for me, my 12-year-old son, and to hear me say that I was pregnant, and I haven't even told my family yet because I was only seven weeks along. He was there one human to another to enter in and share our grief. His care was of such magnitude that my own mom thought it existed in photo form 10 years later. The moment was short but his impact will last for a lifetime. About a year and a half after that day, I was sending Christmas cards and it was laid upon my heart to send Officer Kevin a follow-up to thank him for all that he had done. I needed to let him know that as if in a Hallmark movie on Christmas Eve of 2013, to the song, Oh Holy Night, my precious Ezekiel, Zeke, was born. When the doctor announced his birth, Oh Hear the Angels Singing, uh, was, was the lyric that was being played. I needed to let Officer Cornell know that he was our angel on earth that day in May. Officer Kevin later called to thank me and asked if I was okay with him sharing the letter with others. Without hesitation, I said he was welcome to share it and was thrilled that it had been meaningful. I had no idea until just recently how that letter had been shared. I'm simply humbled that that small act of much deserved gratitude could have been used to inspire other officers. Shortly after writing that letter and many talks with God about using the pain for a purpose, I determined to go back to school and get my master's in counseling. Officer Kevin cared so well for me on that day 
and I wanted to pay that forward by being a small piece of sunshine on other people's darkened days. I've been working as a licensed professional counselor now for six years, and I know in my heart that there's no other career for me that could have ever been this rewarding. Something tells me that as Officer Cornell retires, he might just be thinking that very same thing about his career. God has been gracious in so many ways. Both my boys are here today, Ben, now 22, and Zeke, nine, and we've all been blessed by Matt, um, who was able to adopt, adopt Zeke as his son, and we've been married six years. When I was asked if I wanted to share a few words today, I knew I wanted to speak about hope, impact, kindness, inspiration, and making a difference. I wanted to speak about the qualities of an officer that go beyond the badge and the uniform. I wanted to speak about my family angel on May 15th, Officer Kevin. We're praying God's richest blessings as you move forward on your next endeavors in life. May it be filled with all the qualities that you bring to others. And if that photo ever surfaces, I'll be sure to send it to you along with a copy of my yearly Christmas letters, as now you are permanently on my list. <laughs>